Hey gang, Scott here. Got a couple of tips for you for balancing your cityscapes, especially those taken at blue hour, uh, where you've got you know, a lot of blue bouncing around because it is blue hour, as well as the artificial lights that have come up in the city. And sometimes those take on a less than pleasing color, like you know, an amberish, yellowish, orange. I, I don't find that as attractive. So I want to show you a couple of things that you can do in Lightroom here to uh, to, to tidy that up. I have this image here I, I'm mostly finished with, and let me open up the, the masking area because this is really where you're going to work with you know, your masks to target different areas to color balance them. I've already done something with the architecture, so let me open this up here. And you know, a lot of things happening just to select the architecture uh, before and after. You can see how it's bluer, it's darker, and you know, especially if we, we zoom in in this area here, and then after we see that brighten up and you know what's happening okay you know normal stuff texture clarity there's probably some exposure in there but in particular point color notice I've chosen a blue tone which was just clicking out on one of these shadowy areas and if I turn that off see it was a very bluish tone now this like blue tone here kind of matches what I've picked there and then boosting luminance, but taking down the saturation, just taking the edge off of the blue color cast on things that you don't want to have that cast. And in this scene, you know, that's the, you know, the, I'll, I'll say skyline, it's the architecture, that's, you know, the, the buildings and so forth. Now for the other part, the street lamps, I haven't done those yet. And that's like the second part of this is you can see here, they take on this, um, if I zoom up in over here, they have this yellowish, ambery cast to them and wow I must have been really wide because this is distorted here at the edges of the uh, of the frame and I, I, I'm not a fan of that kind of coloring I prefer it to be just more of a, a natural white so what we'll do create a new mask and I'm just going to use a brush right here's my brush and I'm just painting over this I must have my auto mask turned on let me turn that off because the mask doesn't have to be particularly uh, you know careful and then in point color, here's the eyedropper. And I'm going to pick a couple of points, like a, a deeper yellow and get a second one and kind of like a, a lighter yellow. So I've got these two swatches and you can see where they, they are very different, but they're both in that yellowish tone area. And for the deeper one, we'll just take saturation down. Right? And uh, let, me, uh, let me try to push the point color closer to our lamp so you can see that better. Let me do that again. Take that saturation down. The other swatch, take that saturation down. Now look at the comparison between this lamp and this lamp, and then before and after. Recall that the mask, the brush stroke, was quite you know, cavalier, is quite sloppy. It's being tempered with the color sample, right? This point color is a very, very powerful uh, targeted tool that we have. And now I still have my brush, right? So now, all right, this lamp, I want that to be clean. Let's zoom back out. What other lamps do I have out here? Uh, I've got some in the center. Let's, uh, let's pan around. I've got a few that are out here. One, two, three. I'm just kind of click and click and drag right across them. And by virtue of the color sample, brush through that one, this one here. I'm only targeting those particular tones. I'll leave the windows in the buildings as they are, but for the street lamps themselves, I, I prefer less of that amber tone that tends to come out in street lamps. And let's just finish off these here. Okay, you're getting the idea, right? All right, well, one step further is, well, in this particular scene, they're reflecting, right? Those street lamps are throwing down amber light into uh, the river here. And so zooming back in, well, I'm still using that same brush, right? I have one brush in my mask. I'm just going to drag over that, drag over this, and I'm, you know, really sloppy brush, right? If I put, you know, the, the overlay on, you can see this is not a particularly careful brush stroke, but because we're only hitting those amber tones. That's all that's happening there. And notice even when I went through here, there's this like kind of more greenish tone, which is coming out through these windows here. Those were not affected because the 
point color is protecting the other tones, the other colors. I'm just getting those amber tones that I, I just don't really want in, in my photo. And I think I missed one street lamp over here. You know, this is where I'll get into the, the precision and getting everything correct. But just looking at before and after for, let's call this the street lamps. Before. Kind of that yellowish tinge, that tone there. Especially you can see it in the reflections. And after, just taking that amber edge off. So when you're working through your Blue Hour cityscape photos, once you've done your basics, think about point color and using it to color balance various things, taking color casts away from stuff, which is really primarily what I did in this photo. Or if there's a particular color tone, like a, a city is lit up, at a, whether it's holidays or just an interesting tone of light and you want to amp that up, check out that point color tool because you can really control the color and push casts with masks on specific subjects that you want to you know, give your cityscapes an extra pop. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.